Thomas Markle has almost become as famous as his daughter Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, following an ongoing feud between him and the royal family. Thomas Markle has given a number of TV interviews since his daughter Meghan became a part of the royal family in May 2018, and even previously set up paparazzi shots prior to the wedding. But what happened between Meghan and her father? Why did he not attend the wedding? And what did Meghan's leaked letter to her dad say? Thomas Markle is the father of Meghan Markle, now the Duchess of Sussex. Thomas is 74 years old and is a retired television lighting director. Thomas married Meghan's mother Doria Ragland in 1979 and welcomed Meghan in 1981. Later, Thomas and Doria divorced. Why didn't Thomas Markle attend the royal wedding? Thomas Markle unfortunately could not attend the royal wedding in May 2018 due to poor health. Prior to the wedding, it was announced that Thomas Markle would not be walking his daughter down the aisle as previously planned, or be attending the wedding, after he suffered a heart attack. Instead, Meghan asked Prince Harry's father Prince Charles to walk her down the second half of the aisle at Windsor Castle. Prior to his health problems, it transpired that Thomas had been paid by photographers to pose for pictures to be sold to news outlets worldwide which reportedly caused friction between him and his daughter. What did Meghan Markle's letter to her dad say? In February 2019, a letter from the Duchess addressed to her father was leaked. The letter was dated August 2018, just a few months after Meghan and Harry wed. In the letter, Meghan tells her father he has broken her heart into a million pieces. Read the full letter here. Daddy. It is with a heavy heart that I write this, not understanding why you have chosen to take this path, turning a blind eye to the pain you're causing. Your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces not simply because you have manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain, but by making the choice to not tell the truth as you are puppeteered in this. Something I will never understand. You've told the press that you called me to say you weren't coming to the wedding that didn't happen because you never called. You've said I never helped you financially and you've never asked me for help with is also untrue. You sent me an email last October that said, if I've depended too much on you for financial help then I'm sorry but please could you help me more not as a bargaining chip for my loyalty. I have only ever loved, protected and offended you, offering whatever financial support I could worrying about your health, and always asking how I could help. So the week of the wedding to hear about you having a heart attack through a tabloid was horrifying. I called and texted. I begged you to accept help we sent someone to your home. And instead of speaking to me to accept this or any help, you stopped answering your phone and chose to only speak to tabloids. If you love me, as you tell the press you do, please stop. Please allow us to live our lives in peace. Please stop lying, please stop creating so much pain, please stop exploiting my relationship with my husband. I realize you are so far down this rabbit hole that you feel, or may feel, there's no way out, but if you take a moment to pause I think you'll see that being able to live with a clear conscience is more valuable than any payment in the world. I pleaded with you to stop reading the tabloids. On a daily basis you fixated and clicked on the lies they were writing about me, especially manufactured by your other daughter, who I barely know. You watched me silently suffer at the hand of her vicious lies, I crumbled inside. We all rallied around to support and protect you from day one, and as you know. So to hear about the attacks you've made at Harry and the press, who is nothing but patient, kind and understanding with you is perhaps the most painful of all. For some reason you continue fabricating these stories, manufacturing this fictitious narrative, and entrenching yourself deeper into this web you have spun. The only thing that helps me sleep at night is the faith in knowing that a lie can't live forever. I believed you, I trusted you, and told you I loved you. The next morning the CCTV footage came out. You haven't reached out to me since the week of our wedding, and while you claim you have no way of contacting me, my phone number has remained the same. This you know. No texts, no missed called, 
No outreach from you just more global interviews you are being paid to do and say harmful and hurtful things that are untrue. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.